Okay, well, we have let the chisel rust. Now for a period of 12 hours, uh, I sat it in the bucket of salt water. It's suspended on a wire here. And we're going to pull it out and see how rusty it is. It shouldn't have too much rust, it should have some nice even coat, or at least as even as we can expect, given our difficulties with getting the metal completely in the white. And this is what we have. Let's see about getting this off the rod. And we're going to take it out of its little harness thing. Well, unfortunately what's happened here, as it seems, seems like rust is formed on the top. And, wow, it just comes right off. But, this is not necessarily a bad thing. It saves me the trouble of having to card. However, it is darker. The metal is very clearly darker with this coat. I'm going to clean it off, and I'm going to take a better look. So what we see here is that, yes, we do have some oxidation and it has managed to dull the finish down considerably. It's starting to turn a gray color. So we're probably going to suspend this in the bath once again, or I may just rest it in the bath for all that. I don't necessarily need to suspend it. All I need to do is uh, put something in there for this to rest on so that I don't get uh, a mark where the wire was running. And that mark is very clearly visible here, but once it gets darker, it shouldn't be as uh, visible. All right, it's been now 24 hours, and we're going to take another look at our rusting chisel and see how this has turned out so far. Hopefully, again, there's no pitting. Uh, rust should just wash right off and we'll have a darker gray if not starting to turn a little bit brown oh. hmm. okay hopefully you guys can see that there's rust here here off and it comes off. It comes off very nicely, in fact. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be the most even coating, but I hope that as time progresses it will even out a little bit. Definitely at the tip here, it's getting much darker. It's much darker at the tip. It's not necessarily a good thing. It means that not all of the oil was necessarily removed. There are probably parts where oil is still present to some degree. However, it is worth noting that the water seems to stick, doesn't want to run off at this point. That's a hopeful thing anyway. Yeah. It almost wants to get absorbed into the grain of the steel. Very good. 
Okay. Well, we'll continue to soak this for another 24 and see where we Okay, it's been another 24 hours, and we're going to take a look at the chisel in this bucket and see what we've got. Well, it's certainly rusted. Finish is getting darker, however, it does have rather an uneven appearance. And truth be told, the secret is definitely in how you finished the uh, workpiece to begin with. As you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it quite from that far away. I'll try and get it a little bit closer, see if this thing will focus on it or not. But wherever there were file marks wherever the surface is scored, it rusted more there and the surface is darker. Now, it's not absolutely consistent, but that's the general trend. That wherever there's more surface um, scarring, there's more rust and therefore the surface gets darker faster. Okay, well we've let this uh, chisel rust now for three days and this is the result not satisfactory very ugly very ugly indeed of course it will come off but what will we have when it is done so let's just take this off the wire and if we can remove the wire here without touching just with my bare hand let me take some of this Ooh. carefully brush off the rust although I've left this thing rust for so long now that there is actually relatively little hope of it coming off neatly it's not going to be smooth having left it rust in the open for several days I've pretty much killed the finish there's not much I can do to save it except to go through the entire process again, start to finish. As you're probably noticing, this isn't so much a video of what precisely to do as much as it's a video of what not to do. I don't want to make some of my mistakes. That's why I'm showing you this. If possible, always make sure that you get to the rust as soon as you can on a 6 to 12 hour basis so that you don't get this kind of ugly scarring on the metal. Right there. Ugh. That's the result so far.